Another weekend of chaos and mayhem in central London, where the political left and the Islamists went hand in hand to cause trouble. In this video, we're going to explain exactly what happened yesterday, but also show you the collection of uh, some of the crazy, crazy moments uh, of the, the Islamists trying to intimidate the general public, uh, the pro-British people, Jewish people and Christians, and the Metropolitan Police being all over the place. Firstly, big shout out to the campaign against anti-Semitism who put together all these videos there, but they actually did say this. Uh, today's, this was yesterday, anti-Israel demonstration was ordered by the Metropolitan Police not to start until 1.30 p.m. as a major concession by the organizers to allow, obviously, that the, as we said yesterday, there was a massive synagogue in the area and uh, they were supposed to, they were going to start at 12 o'clock. But then obviously the Jewish communities talked to the police saying, can you tell them to start at 1.30 because we want to leave the synagogue in the area and feel safe and not be intimidated. Guess what happened? As the campaign against Semitism said, well, despite this, the organizers chose to form up at 12 o'clock. Anyway, the police had to be deployed near the entrances to nearby synagogues and on the street's corners regardless. And we have heard from parents who were afraid to walk home with their children. What? Let's go to the videos. Um, so let me get this right. These people were angry at the police because the police wanted to protect some innocent random Londoners who happened to be Jewish going to synagogue. And the police are apparently the bad guys, according to the, the pro-Palestinian protesters. So don't ever dare tell me that these protesters are not pro-Hamas or Hezbollah or Islamism in general. Don't ever tell me that these protesters are simply there because they really care about innocent civilians, the Palestinians in Gaza, for example. When they get offended, when you criticize uh, those uh, banned organizations, as we showed in the previous video, if you haven't seen it, check it out. The British Iranian who got arrested because he was criticizing Islamists, they didn't like it, Hamas. When they target random innocent Jews who just happen to be Jewish going to a synagogue in London or Christians going to church, for example, what's that got to do with innocent civilians in Gaza? It's nothing to do with that. It's all a lie. They don't care. Because they didn't say anything about the Uyghurs in China. They didn't say anything about the Yemenis over the last 10 years or so. They didn't say anything about people in Syria. They didn't say anything. They're not saying anything right now about Iranians right now fighting against the Islamic occupiers in Iran. They don't say anything about Christians in Nigeria. They don't care. It's all a lie. And we are here to expose them. Big shout out to Campaign Against Semitism for the videos. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.